Hello everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at the new settings interface for the Windows Terminal app, which allows you to customize virtually every aspect of the app and profiles without having to edit the settings that JSON file. This new UI is available starting version 1.6 and it is a work in progress which means that right now it does not include all the final settings and you need to enable manually using the settings that JSON file. I will be leaving a link in the video description with instructions on how to do this. Okay, so now let's dive in into the new settings interface for the Windows Terminal. Once you enable the experience, you can access the new settings using the Control, Shift and Comma keyboard shortcut. While in the settings, you will notice that everything looks similar to the settings of any other modern app for Windows 10. You have a left pane where you can navigate the different pages and at this time the setting includes only five pages. Startup, interaction, appearance, color schemes and rendering. Then there is also the profile section which includes the base layer page and this page allows you to set a customization that will apply to all the profiles but you can always select each of the profiles on on the terminal to customize each profile individually. The startup page includes all the settings to manage the startup behavior for Windows Terminal. For example, you can specify the default console profile to start when you open the application and you can also change the launch mode and size. Uh, for example, right now I have command prompt to open every time that I open Windows Terminal but I can switch it up to any other compatible command line utility. Uh, for example, I, I can also select PowerShell and on the settings, you always have to save the changes. Once you save it, that will apply. And then when and then you close the app and when you open it again, you can see that now I start with PowerShell. going to switch it back to command prompt which is the console that I use the most and then there is the interaction page here you can manage the settings to interact with the consoles such as how to copy text and other settings as you can see right here on the appearance page that's where you can change the theme color you can set it to use a window theme but you can also switch it to the light mode or that mode And you also get some other settings to manage tabs, title bars. You can set it to always show on top and you can also manage the type width mode of the terminal. Then there is the color schemes page, which allows you to create schemes that you can apply to each different profiles. Using the settings, you can create schemes to customize the foreground, background, selection background, and you can even select the cursor color. So these are the default color schemes that are available by default with the Windows Terminal, but you can also create your own by clicking the Add New and then just select the, the color that you want. You can rename it. And then you hit the Save button and now that will become one of the available color schemes. Then if you want to apply the color scheme, you just need to go to one of the profiles and then in appearance, you can select the scheme that you created. Then click the Save button and that will apply it to that particular profile. If you don't want to use a particular scheme anymore, you can select it and click the Delete button and that will delete that scheme. Then there is a rendering settings page, which you usually are not going to be using because this is just for troubleshooting, but you can you have two options to, one is to redraw the entire screen when displayed updates, and you can also use software rendering. The base layer page is where you can configure all the common settings that will apply to all your profiles, that being for, for PowerShell, command prompt or any other consoles. The page is divided into three different tabs. You got the general tab where you can set the, the starting directory, the icon and the tab title. You also have an appearance tab that allows you to change the text settings. 
such as the color scheme, font face, size, weight, and more. And you can also set the cursor shape, as you can see right here. You even have a little preview on how that cursor looks, looks like. And if we scroll down, we also get an option to set a background image for that particular console. And you even have an option to use the desktop wallpaper to apply it to all the consoles. Below that, we also have some options to how to apply that background to the console. There is even some background alignments and the background opacity. Now let's just check this option. We're gonna save it. And as you can see, now we have the desktop background of Windows 10 for the background of command prompt or any of the consoles open. So let's change the opacity. I'm gonna save it. We come back so we have the opacity has been applied. We can also enable or disable the acrylic effect for the background. As you can see, we, we have some, some acrylic effect. And you can also set the padding for the window that will be for the edges. As you can see, now we have the new padding applied to this profile. Then there is the advanced page where you can play it around with more settings, such as suppress the title changes and some text related settings. You can also set the history size, profile termination behavior, and the bell notification style. Then you can go to each of the individual profiles to change similar settings to the base layer settings but this is more customizable for a specific profile. For example, on the general tab, you can change the name for the profile. As you can see right there, it has changed. You can also change the command line and other settings. Then you also get an appearance tab that includes pretty much all the same settings as you saw on the base layer. And there is an advanced tab as well that also allows you to change the same settings as the base layer settings. All the settings that you apply to a specific profile will override any settings that are configured on the base layer. So finally, we get a add new. So it allows you to add a new profile. If you have a different console or any application that is compatible with the Windows terminal. Finally, at the bottom, we also get an option to open the JSON file where you can see all the configuration for the console. At any time, you can select and copy all these settings and you can take it to another computer and do the same open the JSON file and the paste it in, and that will copy all the settings over. Well, the ability to customize the Windows Terminal experience has been available for a long time using the settings that JSON file. The settings UI brings a more convenient and faster way to personalize the experience on Windows 10. And that was a closer look to the new settings UI for the terminal app on Windows 10. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.